So good evening. It's a Sunday and uh, just after seven now. And so happy Mother's Day to all mothers. And uh, just to reflect on the thought very briefly and prayer for this morning. Uh, Hinduism gives us a wonderful opportunity to put ourselves in a number of attitudes. And one attitude that is very much favored in this modern era, initiated by Sri Ramakrishna, was the idea of putting oneself in the position of a child. Naturally, that means that God to us becomes the mother. And I'm sure you'll understand from various texts how valuable it is to understand God in the form of mother. And this is elucidated in many of the classes. The highest love or example of love that humans have is the example of motherhood. And so today is an opportunity to put ourselves in a position of a child. The advantage of this is a child has no demands. A child is happy to be carried. A child is happy to be supported. A child is completely helpless. Of course, we have to avoid the danger of surrendering our independence. But with an attitude of being a child, there's a great difference between being childlike and childish. Most of our ignorance is because of childishness, but our knowledge is from a childlike attitude, a simple attitude. As we grow older, everything becomes much more complicated, unnecessarily so, and we lose much of the innocence of a child. So let us all put ourselves, at least for today, in the position of a divine child whose only responsibility is to be carried and to be loved and to be nurtured. Let us spend a few moments just reflecting on this feeling that we are the Lord's child, and that we are intimately connected with the Divine Mother of the universe, that we are being carried by Mother who is also our Mother Nature. And after all, isn't it the Mother alone that exists? Nothing else really exists in our world. After this broadcast, like me, I hope you'll reflect for the next hour on adopting the position of child and feel that we are loved and nurtured and carried. And uh, even if we find this difficult to imagine, at least to sit in front of a picture of the Divine Mother. If you're a Christian, you can choose the Divine Mother in the form of Mary. If you have no particular understanding of this, you will surely recall when you were a child and how you were looked after and nurtured during your childhood. Let us now, in silence, reflect on this matter for the next while. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace beyond all.